Second Peter's, Second Peter's, chapter three, verse one. This second epistle of love I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure mind by the by way of remembrance. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yah Bashimel Shah Bashim Ka Kadash. The Wadi Yah Bashimel Shah for giving us the possums and the oldest of great girls who deserve the honors, rightfully so. Shalom to the Akim, pushing the word of sincerity and truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come. Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID chips, the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles hit the soil of America. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord lift up the whole for a light. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord shoot laser beams to ungodly and heathens. Rightfully so. Hey, I brought this out. The Lord took the course of this video. I'm just a vessel. Looking and hoping for salvation. You know, want to be one of the beloved ones. You know? And, um, hey, I was just, I was, um, I'm just reading the verses, and I want uh, the Spirit to have me land on this, this um, chapter here. But <clears throat> what happened was that um, I was reading a verse, so I brought a lot of love, getting back to that verse, and um, and um. Yeah, and it would be edifying, you know, even for myself because I'm just, you know, I'm I'm reading through verses and learn, you know, I'm still learning too, and um, yeah, and um, yeah, concerning um, it was um, in first um, second Peter's chapter three verse eleven, it was, I started it there and um, and I was like, wow. These are the conversations we got to be having, you know, amongst the brethren, brothers, and stuff like that. You know, you know, you only have a little downtime, but most of the time, we're supposed to be talking about what's what's happening now. The majority of the time, you know, but you know, you have, you have your downtime. You may laugh, and you know, but most of the time, you're laughing about um what's going on. <laughs> That's why it's in our remembrance, you know, and um, which is a beautiful thing. And I and I found this uh, commentary. And it was just like dynamic, right? And it says, um, for the verse, for Second Peter chapter 3, verse 1, right? And, it, you know, in, in the, um, my little commentary, it shows like certain things, certain wordings. So I wanted to read this one. Alright, um, it says, uh, Second Peter chapter 3, verse 1, right? He assured them of the certainty of Hamashiach's coming to judgment against those scorners who dispute against it. All right. So there's a so there's dead dead right there. There's a clear indication that somebody's disputing against the coming of Yahweh Shah, the Mashiach. Okay, the anointed one. All right, who's coming back for his 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 whole four life. You know. So there's a there's a um, there's an opponent, right? An opposition, right? Which the next verse goes into that, right? And you know, like I said, I'm just I'm just going through the verses and and, and let me get this um, which verse was that? Um, yeah, um, verse three, right? Now it's concerning the opposition of our king, who's not here yet. And like right now, it's, it's certain things happening. Little my new things is happening around me, which I, I feel like like there's a big. <laughs> I was you know just recently they put up a um, a flag in front of my building. Like recently, I don't know. I was still trying to figure it out, but um, there's been like a lot of different people around a while they're back. You know, so we don't know what's going down. They preparing. I, they, I truly believe they preparing to um, 
Hey, I was it's recent. I was just watching um, Handmaid's Tale. Just the previews, not the not the movies, the old one, which always been stuck in my mind about the beginning when <coughs> I can't find the video, which I may have to watch the movie again just to get that words back in my mind, back in remembrance, right? And um, the crazy thing is that. That this society, the people, you know, two thirds don't get it. Like they, they, they won't absorb what we are given. You know, because we're trying to make them remember, wake up, wake up, and they just like falling back to sleep. They just won't wake up, man. It's like spirit of slumber. You know, even though you know our King David, you know, he prayed the Lord that they don't get it, but we still got to do the job. You know, to wake, try to wake their ass up because we don't know. We don't know who's who. So it might get out of ten, you might get one. You know, the nine might stay asleep, might get two. This eight might stay asleep, but we have to put this in their remembrance. Though, right, it says, um, Second Peter chapter 3, verse 1, This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both I stir up your pure mind by the way of remembrance. Okay? By the way of remembrance. If you were, what are you remembering? Your nationality? Um, um, what has happened during the histories of time? Why, why we in our situation? These are things you have to remember. And most case point, most important, your fallen king and who is your enemy? Right. Uh oh. I just want to read this second verse, right? It says um, that, um, 2 Peter 7, 3, verse 2, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. And A, prophets always come around. When prophets come around, something's about to go down. All right? When the prophets come around. Because here's the point, I forgot what chapter that is. Um, <clears throat> we said, oh, uh, I do think it was Samuel, maybe it was Samuel. I know it was Samuel, but um said Samuel, you come in peace. <laughs> hey, after the prophets, there's gonna be some bloodshed, man. The prophets are here, man. They back on earth. They back they back in another flesh, right? That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. And of the commandments of us that are that the apostles of the Lord and Savior, all right, by Yahweh Shai's um apostles, and which are back on the earth, man. There's no doubt about it that we know who's who now, because we don't want to be those. Like I said, there's a bunch of people that's not that's against that's the opposition, man. Not we just don't want the two thirds, right? But then it gets deeper, man. We got the um the other nations, bro. And they ain't looking they they looking like they bloodthirsty, bro. They ready to they ready to buy with you and your kids. And we can't say this never happened when we think about the seven sons in the book of Maccabees. This happened. And Masada, right? Oh, what about um when they cut off um the, the apostle um John's head? It was a two third. It was a two a nigga room a nigga woman involved in that. Okay? And they're bloodthirsty, bro. They want they want they want what we they wanted to stop us so they could fucking live lavishly with the goddamn stupid Edomites. Huh? Alright, let me read this one more time because I was just thinking about it again, right? And something just came to my mind. Look. Right. This is how you know we have insurance. He, right, it says, this is a commentary, right? He assured them of the certainty of Hamashiach coming to judgment against those scorners who dispute against it. Against what? These words. Against this perfection. These words that we preaching to the, um, to the choir. <coughs> and they don't want it. <coughs> All 
All right. Um, just like I said, just a couple of things that um that's sticking out right here. So we read those two verses. So we're gonna jump down. We're gonna skip down. It's, it's just very how they got this um coordinated here. All right, we're gonna come down. And and this is the like I said, this is the conversation we should be having amongst ourselves. You know, meditating on the spirit, meditating on the prophecies. All right, let me go right here. Before I read this, I'm gonna go to this verse. All right. Because they don't see the certainty of of Yahweh Shah's coming, and he's gonna come and he's gonna put this place down on the ground, man. Under. Down we under. <laughs> You're going down now, Shanshi. Alright, second Peter, it's the same chapter, but I'm just gonna bounce it around because I like I said this verse chapter this chapter stuck out to me. All right, second Peter chapter three, verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Alright? In which the heaven, hey, this is a lot of stuff that's gonna happen right now. Like I said, it's a lot of things going on around me, and I'm out in a spread out place, but there's a lot more um, people um, just sleeping in their cars, you know, they giving up their places because they can't. Hey, man, we're gonna have to become pilgrims, man. Maybe, I don't know what the hell the flag thing was about. Like, maybe he just said, you know, but, um, it's a lot of shit going down, man. I'm out of this. I really can't. I really can't grab it just yet. I'm just praying to the Lord that the Lord um, preserve me and, and do His will, and not even worry about what's going on, like whatever, whatever. <laughs> Second Peter chapter two, chapter Second Peter chapter three, verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. But we are aware, you know. We know as we know that um all hell's gonna break loose. We know that these um individuals is is trying to figure out a way to, to get to the whole full life. Which they already got a two thirds. You know? They got the two thirds already. I brought this out, we are not a part of that. Uh that two third bunch. We wanna be the ones that the Lord preserve in the hour of uh, temptation and um Jacob's trouble. Which to me, all these things that's happening is beautiful because this has assured us. We have this is assurement. This is this is assurance that all these things that's happening is the ushering in our king, Yahweh Shah. So for the day of the Lord, see the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. They're gonna be unexpected. It's because they, they're not paying attention to the prophecies. They're not paying attention to the prophets. So they're not they're not assured. But we are sure because we pay attention to the prophecies and the prophets. And it's happening, man. It's really happening now, man. Things is happening. Our king and chariots. Everything simultaneous. It's like you got some chariots, you got some prophets, you got some chariots, you got some prophets, you got some it's right there, man. Everything's happening, man. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief of the night for them. In which the heaven shall pass away. This heaven, this way, this 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 um, dominion is gonna pass away. Shall pass away with a great noise. And we know what that great noise is, baby. That's them that's them things, man. Soon we're gonna be able to say these things, man. <laughs> they so they so um um touchy about words. <laughs> Can't even say uh um, uh, Mark with the rest of it.